Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is the beginning of a new season and I wanted to share some ideas of how I get ready for the full time to really enjoy the season. Remember, it's the little things in life and every season brings its magic and we have to enjoy them. So whether this is to light up a full scented candle, make a warm cup of coffee, go for early walks, go through your fall wardrobe, whatever it is, just take the time and do it. Let's refresh that face before heading downstairs to make our first homemade pumpkin spice latte of the season. And also let me know down in the comments if you changed your skincare routine for the fall season going into winter. For the most part, I don't change it. I just add an extra layer of moisture to my nighttime routine. My face tends to get really dry on the T area. So I have found that my night oil and vitamin C combination really helps. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Cindy. I'm a mom of two little girls. I love home decor, home organization. I share some recipes. And today we're making a pumpkin spice latte in a full spice banana bread that is so easy to make and delicious. I share some DIYs, makeovers, all things home. I would love it if you subscribe and become part of this sweet growing community. These are the ingredients to make our homemade pumpkin spice latte, which is so good, you guys. We're gonna need one cup of milk or milk of preference, two shots of espresso, two tablespoons of vanilla extract. I have one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon for the topping, two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, two tablespoons of condensed milk, or if you don't have it, you can do brown sugar or sugar in the raw and the little weird ingredient will be the black pepper but I'll explain that in a minute to start take a pot and turn your stove top to medium heat once the pot heats up we are going to add the pumpkin pie spice powder and lightly toast it for a few seconds Make sure to stir constantly so nothing burns. And then let's add the pumpkin puree and cook it for two to three minutes. Once it begins to darken, add sugar or condensed milk and mix well. Let's add the vanilla extract and the black pepper and the pepper will give it that extra kick to our spice latte. I promise you won't taste black pepper, but it's so, so good, you guys. Now add the milk very slowly into that yumminess and once it's fully blended, let's add the espresso. I use Bustelo. Let it incorporate for a few minutes and this is ready to serve. I'm going to top it off with whipped cream and some cinnamon. You can do this syrup or paste, I would say, in batches and keep it in the fridge for a few extra homemade lattes.
let's enjoy this together with a coffee table book this really helps me relax and disconnect from the world and there's something about coffee table books that gives you so many inspiration if you're like me please let me know down in the comments and what is your favorite coffee table book so far let's enjoy the moment until my little one decides to cuddle up with mommy I love to go through my wardrobe for each season and rearrange and add pieces in a visible spot, checking what I have, what I still love, and adding items to my wish list. And this is another fun way to kick off the autumn season. Crazy, but things are finally right. The future is bright. Oh, you and, I, we got and just like that, autumn music is the sound of rain and rustling of falling leaves. Oh, even in the hard time, you and I can weather any storm. Now let's go back to this past weekend where we went apple picking with the girls and we had a great time. This is a fun family activity to start the autumn season. The weather was amazing, perfect day to pick up some apples and peaches and bake something yummy. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Life's crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard time Now back home, I just clear up and clean my countertops to sprinkle some fall in my kitchen and this is my fall coffee station that we did back in august you guys this is like the first thing i added to my home for fall these rip mugs are so cute it comes in a set of six from amazon and for all my coffee lovers out there you know that it's just such a vibe to see the color variation in your mug from the coffee and your foamy milk For one side of the stove, I'm going to layer some cutting boards to add some warm and to display my everyday use glass jars. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow home. Golden, golden, golden. Mountain Laurel high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird. For my kitchen a mixer, I'm going to add it on this tray that I found at Ross. And I'm just going to add a kitchen towel and my ginger. Golden, golden things. Gold hair. Gold rings. Gold leaves. Gold anything. Gold. I'll follow me. Thank you. 
Next, I wanted to add something to this side of the sink. I'm using this acrylic tray to hold the flower arrangement and this pitcher, and I'm using two like a rusty orange um, hydrangeas that I bought many years ago at Michael's. And then I'm going to add my hand soap and lotion. It was a gift from my aunt. Smells amazing and it's a pumpkin shaped bottle. So cute. And then for the island, I'm using this mango wood stand. And on top, it will hold this stunning vase that I found this week at Home Goods. I'm in love with the shape and texture. And I added some freshly cut stems from my plum tree. This foliage is so, so on trend this fall season, and they are really expensive. So I'm blessed that I can incorporate it to my decor without the cost also added to the vase those kind of like pompous stems that i use for my summer table escape they are dry they're beautiful they shed a little bit but it really adds so much beauty and contrast to this space Let's make this first day of fall extra festive by baking a delicious fall spice banana bread. As always, all the ingredients and items in this video are going to be listed in the description down below. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our dry ingredients. So I have the flour and I'm gonna add the baking soda and the baking powder. This bowl was a little bit too small for me, but that's okay, we'll make it work followed by a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of nutmeg, a dash of ground cloves, and that makes this whole kitchen smells incredible. And this is a tablespoon of salt. If your butter is unsalted, I recommend you to add the salt. If it is salted, just omit this step. And now we'll give it a good mix and set this aside so we can start working with our wet ingredients. To my mixer, I'm adding one stick of butter at room temperature. Let's cream this up, and once it's done, we can add our granulated sugar. Let's make sure that nothing sticks on the bottom. Mix it all up, and then we're going to add two eggs, one at a time, followed by two tablespoons of plain whole milk yogurt, and then we're going to add our vanilla extract. Now it's time for our ripe bananas. I have three really, really ripe bananas and we are going to take a fork and mash it until we make a puree. And then this, we're going to add it to our mixture followed by our dry ingredients. So for our dry mixture, go on low and add it in batches. And it's just to incorporate a little bit and then the rest we are going to fold with our spatula. You really don't want to over mix because then your bread will not be fluffy and soft. Now I'm taking a 9x5 loaf pan and I'm going to spray it with some olive oil. You can use any cooking, cooking spray that you have. And I have parchment paper previously cut to the size of the pan. And this will help you to remove the bread much, much easier once it's baked. Yes, and I've come out here to say. Now let's add our batter. And oh my God, you guys, this smells amazing. Let's even it out. And then for the topping, I'm adding walnuts. You can also add it into the mixture or anything else that you like. Almonds, pecans, 
or chocolate chip. I just didn't add it into the mixture because my girls, they don't like it. And last but not least, I'm going to sprinkle sugar in the raw so the crust will be sweet and crispy. Let's bring this to the oven for 350 degrees for about 50 to 55 minutes. And while we are waiting, I'm enjoying this time with my girls on this cozy, rainy fall afternoon. I hope you got inspired with this video to enjoy all the little things that this new season has to offer. With everything going on in the world, we really need to be grateful for our health, our family and friends, and take advantage of what God gives us every day for free. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't if you recreate this recipe please let me know follow me on instagram for more inspiration and god bless you and i will see you guys in the next one bye happy fall The future is bright